What's going on guys? It's Jordan from SimSpot and today I'm going to give you guys a tour of my apartment golf simulator. If you're wondering can you put a golf simulator in an apartment, I'm here to answer that for you. And also I want to let you know I am about a week away from moving into my new house. My new house has a basement movie theater room and that is where the simulator will go. I'll give you an updated tour when that happens but for now I'm going to answer what it's like to have a golf simulator in an apartment. So let's get into it. So the first thing I have here is this rawhide mat. So I've been hitting off this thing for about a week and a half now. And basically it's, you can get it from the website called Rawhide. And I got the grade A one. It was about $200 for a five by five. Um, it's got a pretty nice uh, feel to it. It doesn't squish down. So your feet aren't going to be below the ball like some of the other mats. Uh, so I really like that feature of it. It is a nice mat, but um, it's not, it doesn't really feel like a divot. So that's the one thing I don't like about it. So I think I'm definitely going to go and get the fiber built strip. It's like a one by three strip. And I'm going to put that somewhere. Probably, I'm probably going to get a second one of these mats and then put the fiber built in the middle of the two mats and kind of make my own thousand dollar fiber built mat um, with these. Cause these are nice stance mats. So then we have the GC 2x4 site and I got this uh, refurbished directly from Foresight for $5,400 so uh, not terrible it's about half price from a real one and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever so refurbished is the way to go with that. And this right here is the uh, impact screen from Carl's Place and this is the premium one. Uh, they actually have a section that is, um, you can kind of see here. You can barely see any of the lines like it is a very nice screen um, and they have a section where you can buy and it's supposed to be ones that are slightly messed up um, but I got this one's 10 by 11 feet and it was only like 450 um, so usually this screens like 900 bucks I got it for 450 on the clearance section because it's supposed to have a default but I have yet to find the default and everyone on the forum says they can't find any defaults either so um, definitely look on that section you can get about half price screens on Carl's Place from that. And this right here is the BenQ projector um, it's the gaming one and I really like it it's nice uh, you know it gives a good picture I'll know more once I get the windows out of here that's one of the problems is this is right in front of a huge window behind the screen. I had to put tarp up. As you can see here, I have tarp blocking the window, but uh, the basement won't have any windows. So then once it's nice and dark, it should look much better on the picture. And we got a window here, of course. So um, it's hard to tell right now what it's gonna look like, but I think it's gonna look awesome. Then I have this gaming computer here that I built a long time ago, probably about five or six years ago. I put it back together solely to be my golf computer and it's been running great so far. I have an R9 390X graphics card and it runs Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf and the Golf Club. I have both of those. And for now I'm just putting the clubs across the couch here. And this is the coolest thing. Uh, so for the apartment, since I don't have any uh, netting or anything for safety and clearly it's right next to a window you want this about a foot away from a wall if you're going to hit real balls um, so my only option before i move into my house was to hit foam balls so in my last video i made a video can you hit foam balls on a gc2 you definitely can um, it picks it up great and it's it's really awesome and i'll show you in a second but it definitely works so keep in mind guys if you want to build something similar to this you can get a mat really cheap okay this was just a used one that they sold from driving ranges a uh, very nice mat um, and then all you need is a little computer uh, a, you don't even need a projector literally you could just get and you don't even need the gc2 you could get a skytrack skytrack's a lot cheaper it's like two or three thousand um, and then you could just use foam balls on a skytrack and hang up a blanket somewhere on some wall and all you need is a computer and a monitor so really all you need is a skytrack a foam balls a computer and a monitor to actually do this really really cheaply and be able to hit balls with foam just into a blanket so that's another way to do it 
And so, since I'm using foam balls, I only have to stand about a foot away from the impact screen. It really doesn't matter how far you stand when you're using the foam balls, which is a very nice thing. One thing I will say though, is I started putting with a real ball, and then one time I almost forgot that I uh, needed to change out the real ball for the foam ball. So I actually set the real ball down, and I was inches away from cranking a four iron directly into the screen, which would have broke the window, and then it would have came back and probably broke my head. So I got really lucky on that one. And of course I got 10 foot ceilings up here vaulted, so I have no trouble swinging any of my clubs. This is the only area of the apartment that would work for this. So it ended up working great for me. And since today is a PGA Championship day, I decided to play on Beth Page Black. So we're gonna play a couple holes for you now. That's unfortunate. Super cool playing holes on the actual course that I literally have been watching real golfers play on the PGA Championship all weekend. It's so cool. All right, so since I only used a four iron and not a driver, I'm gonna need to just kinda poke one around the trees with a six iron here. And if you're wondering, the golf club does have an offset feature, so does Jack Nicholas. So if you are like me, this setup here, I actually have to aim in the middle of the screen, even though I'm off to the right. Uh, so you can, what you can do is you can match it up on the software and actually make it so you're aiming directly where you're standing. So that helps. I will say it is a little harder to play on foam balls. Uh, you're not gonna get as much distance out of it. That's why I'm struggling right now because you don't get very much distance out of your shots. You can boost it in the software, but for this, I haven't actually done that. I did that in the last video, but I haven't done it here. All right, 82 yarder, we're gonna go with the gap wedge here, see what happens. Oh, get in, get in! Ten footer here, this is makeable. And I forgot to turn gimmies on. Usually you do about a six foot gimme in the tournaments online, so. Um, that would have been a double bogey. But anyways, guys, can you have fun in an apartment playing on foam balls? I just wanted to show you guys my setup here. It's been an absolute blast with this setup. But I can't wait to move into my house, actually get a real setup. I'm gonna get an actual encasing closure for my screen, pull it out nice and tight, get all the wrinkles out, um, and then use real balls, of course, and then fill it out with turf. So it's gonna look amazing, guys. So definitely stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's done inside my new house. But uh, really fun, man, playing a PGA Championship course after watching it literally in real life on TV, watching all the pros play it in a major, and then turning around and playing it yourself on a simulator. I really feel like I'm playing Beth Page Black. So cool, guys. So that's it for this one. I'm out. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.